Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create ads account on Facebook Business Manager. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you create your business or your ads account here? Well, it's fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to first go to Meta Business Suite, which in this case, you want to go to business.facebook.com. Now from then on, log in into your account. Now, in order for you to create your ads account here, what we need to do is we first need to create our business portfolio. Now, at the top left of your screen, you should be able to see your name. Go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, you want to click on Create Business Portfolio. Now, what we need to do here is we want to add or, in this case, fill out all the necessary information. So first, what is going to be the business portfolio name? So, for example, this is going to be my business portfolio name. So let's just say this is going to be Project. And from here, you can go ahead and add your name, your last name, and your business email, which in this case, I'm going to start typing it in here. Now here, let's go ahead and click on create. Now it should start creating your business portfolio. And once your business portfolio is created, we should now be able to start creating our ads account. In this case, it's going to ask you, what do you want to claim into your business portfolio? So in this case, in order for you to create or uh, claim something or add an asset here on your business portfolio, we need to first have a, our uh, Facebook page. I'm assuming you already have your Facebook page here. Let's go ahead and choose our Facebook page and click on next. Now from here, you could go ahead and start adding another person into your business portfolio if you want to. But in this case, let's go ahead and skip this for now. Now from here, you can basically edit or you see your portfolio details. Which in this case, let's go ahead and click on confirm here since we are good with the following uh, settings that we just set up. And that should create our business portfolio. Now, since we already are in our business portfolio here, as you can see, we've already gone into my personal page here. We've already in or we are already using our business portfolio for this one. We can now go ahead and click on settings at the bottom left here. Now, the thing with ads account here, it is directly connected into your business portfolio. That's why we need to first create, create our business portfolio. Now, in here, as you can see, our portfolio, or we are accessing our portfolio here, which is in this project. Now, we need to go to accounts and click on add accounts. Now, in here at the top right, you can go and click on add. And from here, you could go ahead and create your ad account. But if we already have an ad account here, you could go ahead and click on claim an existing ad account, or you can even request each to share an ad account if you want. But let's go ahead and click on create a new ad account and fill out some information. So first is we need to add our ad account name. So for example, this is going to be a project ad account. And from here, we could go ahead and add our time zone. So in this case, maybe I want to set this to the following. So let's just type in here. So let's go choose this one. And we want to choose our currency. So maybe I want to use AUD here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on X. Now, it's going to ask you this ad account will be used for, like, for example, your business or for another business or client. So we want to choose my business here. Click on X. Now. What we need to do here is we want to go ahead and basically review a few things. So the ad account will be created and added to the project business portfolio that we just recently created. As you can see, our ad account is related to our business portfolio. Now we need to agree to meta terms of service and advertising policy here in order for us to create one. Let's go and click on create ad account. And it should now notify, notify us that our ad account is now ready. As you can see the background, it's not created. Now, in this case, finally, the last thing that you need to do here is you just need to click on add the payment info. And from here, you could go ahead and choose your country region, your currency, your time zone, and basically fill out all the payment information needed. So that includes like, for example, your car details, or in this case, you could also edit your business and tax info, your business location currency. Now, you could even add or use PayPal as a payment method here. But in this case, once you've actually added your payment information here, you should now be able to start creating your ads. Niche in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.